Well, this month we're helping you prepare for the Thanksgiving dinner. Chef Suzanne will join us each Monday with dishes you can make in just 13 minutes. She's in the kitchen with Anne Marie Tiernan. Today we continue our emphasis on super side. Some of the recipes that are part of the traditional Thanksgiving meal that we're going to tweak a little bit, maybe make a little more modern, starting with the green bean casserole. Right, and you've got some perfect examples of what everyone's got in their pantry that uh -huh. my mom and my kids still love. Uh -huh. the, the French fried onions, the French style green beans, the cream of mushroom soup. So today we're just going to try to do it a little bit different. We're not going to open cans to exactly. make this recipe. All exactly. right, we're going to start with fresh green beans, and you've blanched these. What does that mean? Uh, blanching is a very simple technique. You just want to put some water in your stock pot on your mm -hmm. stove, bring it to a boil, throw your vegetables in, give it about three minutes, drain them, and then throw some ice on them, and that will stop the cooking process process and that's one reason why they're so bright green and pretty. Yeah, they really keep their color. Okay, so now what we put over this, we head over to the stove. Exactly. <laughs> What's going to make everybody stop crying about the removal of the fried onions is we're using bacon and everything's better with bacon. So we've already fried our bacon off. We have a little bit of the bacon grease. We're going to add shallots, which shallots are a form of the onion family. They're just a little more mild and flavorful. We're going to add our mushrooms, and we've diced these. These are just button mushrooms, but you could use a cremini or a portobello, any kind of mushroom that you want. Okay, and you're going to saute those about two or three minutes until they're soft, and then you would add your onion powder, a little bit of cooking sherry, which is going to enhance the richness of our recipe. Get those going, and then you would add your cream. And then the thickener to all of this is going to be um, your Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna use part of this in the actual sauce, and then the other half will top your green beans. And that's it for the sauce. It's very simple, but very flavorful. And boy, that smells so good. That's the sherry. Okay, now you're pouring this over the green beans. Right. And you can give it a toss. It's going to be hot. That'll work. And then you're just going to top it with um, more Parmesan cheese. And then your cooked bacon. Now, where do you recommend to get the sherry? Grocery stores carry sherry. It's usually in the condiment aisle, like where the vinegars are. But it's usually less expensive and sold in a bigger bottle in the wine section. Oh. Oh, that's a good tip. They have it like towards the bottom of the sh most of the shelves. Does it say cooking sherry? It'll say cooking sherry on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what uh, it looks like after it's been in the oven for about 20 minutes, bubbling about 350 degrees. And it smells wonderful. I can't wait to taste it because everything tastes better with, with bacon. bacon. Recipes online, the green bean casserole. It's not your grandma's recipe, I promise you that.